Hello guys, welcome back to another renovation vlog. Oh my gosh, I have been wanting to film this for so long, it's finally here. I can reveal one of my bathrooms to you. So they are both literally 98% finished. I'll tell you the things that need sorting soon. I'm gonna show you one of them because the other one is currently acting as storage because our floors go down on Monday and we are basically trying to get everything off the floor and I am using the first bathroom as storage for our stuff because obviously the flooring is already down in the bathrooms. Genius idea from me. So sorry, I can't show you that bathroom but I can show you the big main event. Matt sat there because bless him, he has been lifting heavy stuff all morning. So I'm gonna start by showing you my old bathroom. I'm gonna pop my old bathroom on the screen now and I am going to show you it and talk you through the things I did and didn't like, I guess. So a lot of people on Instagram are like, why are you changing the bathrooms? The bathrooms are fine. Now I'm not saying there was anything wrong with the bathroom. It was fine, it worked, it did its job. However, I had to do a full electric rewire anyway, which meant making a lot of mess to the floors, to the walls, to the ceilings. So I wanted to make it my aesthetic. I kind of just thought, why not? Why not go for the bathroom of my dreams? Because it wasn't really my aesthetic and I was messing it up anyway. So as you can see, I actually quite liked the brick tiling and the white. I thought that was quite nice, but he went for a monochrome effect. And unfortunately the flooring was just, you couldn't really tell on pictures, but the flooring was really old and it had kind of like just horrible marks all over it. I'm sure it could have been cleaned really well, but it just felt a bit dirty. The bath I actually loved, and I would have kept the bath, but I had the absolute dream vision for a new bath, which you guys probably saw the bath drama about, but I found my dream bath, which you're gonna see in a second. I absolutely loved the shower overhanging. I actually thought it was really nice, and this bathroom, although it looks quite small on videos, actually feels really nice and spacious when you're inside. So as most of you will know, I have been working with wicks on my bathroom to create some content for them. As I've said loads of times, I've paid for my bathrooms, but I have been working on an ad for my content for them. So it's been great to work with them because we basically went through a 10 step process to your dream bathroom. You guys will have seen it. But basically wicks are with you every step of the way, whether it's your dream kitchen or your dream bathroom. So we did number one, we booked our free design appointment. I actually booked this before I was working with wicks and had a phone call with them. And then we, you gather your ideas. I did this on Pinterest. Then you have your free home visit. So I had my free home visit. Tannen came round. I did a vlog about that. He basically measured everything up and we went through some ideas. We went through the catalogue. Then we headed over to the showroom and we saw our ideas in 3D. That was the most exciting part. The thing about the 3D drawings, I'm going to leave them on the screen now, is obviously because it's done in CAD, you can't see the exact colors. So I was quite nervous and I can't believe how it's come together. I literally cried when I saw my bathroom for the first time. Then you place your order. So you place our order in the showroom. You then meet your installer. Now my installer, Amir, is so good. So, so, so good that I have actually used him for so much other stuff in the flat. That is how exceptional he is. And the great thing is because I got my bathrooms fitted with a Wix guaranteed installer. I get a two year workmanship guarantee, which gives you a really nice peace of mind. And honestly, I have been so impressed with Amir. He has helped us with so much other stuff, like I say. And it's just a nice peace of mind to know that you've got that workmanship guarantee. And then you agree your delivery day. Then you get prepared, you empty out your bathroom. Then you watch your bathroom transformation. And we'll finally, on step 10, enjoy your new bathroom. So I can't enjoy it yet because we're not moving back in yet, but it is done and I can enjoy how beautiful it looks and imagine moving back in in a few weeks time. The other great thing about Wix is that they have payment plans, e.g. buy now, pay later. So I'll leave all the links to that kind of stuff below as well. Okay, so you've seen the before, you've seen the plans. I think it's time for me to show you my dream finished bathroom. So we've been trying to keep things protected because we still have a lot of building work going on. So I'm going to take the stuff off and then give you the grand reveal. And I'm gonna show you them side by side and stuff, talk you through it. I'm so excited. So here is my final bathroom. Oh my goodness, besides from changing a few things that are silver, I am done and this is it. So you walk in and you have the most stunning Calcutta gold tiles, which I just think are utterly divine. I've gone for gold trim, which I just think looks so luxurious. This gorgeous, easy clean toilet from Wix which actually has space underneath to clean, which I'm so thrilled about. This cabinet from Wix, which I'm literally in love with. You just push it and then it comes out. So there's loads of storage space in there. And I love that it hangs so you've got that space 
I'm obsessed with my sink. How stunning is that? My dream mirror cabinet compartment, which I just think is insane. And again, lots of storage. How stunning is that? Oh my goodness, you can see here from behind we've got the towel rail. I just think the little added extras that we added with the installer, like the alcove shelves, are going to look so gorgeous with nice little candles and diffusers on. And I'm hoping that I can keep this nice and clean. But the main event is definitely the bath. How gorgeous, so I could choose which legs I went for. I ended up going for white ones. And we were originally gonna get a modern bath, but it didn't actually fit. So we changed to the bath of my dreams last minute. And I'm so happy that we did that. I just think the detailing is absolutely stunning. Like I am so in love with you. I can't wait to have a bath in here. It just feels so spacious. So these are gonna be little shelves. I'm gonna pop the lights on. Ta-da! You can see it with the lights on as well, which I think is just such a wow factor. I love that I went for the tiles on the walls and on the floor, and I was really concerned about trim, but I think it's gorgeous. Obviously, I need to do a full post-building clean in here. It's very dusty because of all the other work that's going on. But how stunning is it looking? I just feel like it's a complete dream. So we added the stud wall here to add these bits in and oh, it's just a dream. So the bath moved from this side to this side and I'm just so happy. I cannot wait to fill these cupboards with dream beauty bits and bobs and get my towels and my dressing gown and that kind of stuff. Now I'm gonna pop the before and after on the screen so you can see how it was before and how it was after on the other side. So you can really see the difference. It's really opened it up. I spoke to an interior designer on Instagram and she basically said, by having the bath there when you walk in, it's such a lovely grand entrance and gives it such a hotel feel. And that's what we wanted, we wanted a hotel feel. Of course I fell in love with the tiles that were twice as expensive, but I'm so glad I went for them because they are so luxurious and it just feels out of this world spa-like. I cannot wait to have a bath in there. I'm just so impressed with everything from Tanim who designed the bathroom initially and showed me on his plans that the bath could move there and would work there. And then Amir, who was the Wixer Proof Fitter, who came out and fitted everything and honestly did the most amazing tiling job ever and helped you when it came to everything like trim and just all of those little details. There we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I will leave links to everything mentioned below. I will leave links to everything Wix below as well and obviously links to my tasks everyone asks. So it's just amazing that I know I have that workmanship guarantee, but I am just so happy with everything end to end. It was so nice to go through one company who basically helped with everything from the initial idea to the design to now my dream bathroom in 10 steps. I literally can't believe it. I cannot wait to move back in. I think we're probably gonna be moving back in. It was meant to be the end of March, but it's now going to be definitely the mid-April maybe after Easter. As you can see, my island is in, the kitchen is happening. So now I need to continue getting everything packed up and ready, basically storing it in my kitchen, which isn't finished yet, so that the floors can go down. But I'm just so thrilled with my bathrooms. I'm honestly so happy. I just think they're a dream come true.